Hi, this is Scott Hinkey with OnSite Consulting. Today we're going to talk about Microsoft's push of moving all computers from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now, in and of itself, there's nothing really wrong with Windows 10. It works great if you've bought a computer with Windows 10 on it already, because then you're going to have to get the software that runs with it and connect it to the printer that works with it and so forth. You're going to go through all those problems. But if you've already got a Windows 7 computer, upgrading it to Windows 10 could have many problems. We're noticing maybe 3% of the computers that upgrade from 7 to 10 have a major issue that has to be fixed. For instance, the wireless doesn't work or the wired connection doesn't work. Uh, the sound doesn't work. The video doesn't work. Um, it'll often remove some of your programs. So if you have a specialty program that's not a normal one, let's say you're a doctor or a lawyer or time slips, something that keeps track of time, those uh, weird programs will not work or even appear in Windows 10 anymore. So you've got to do some special things to get them working if they're even compatible. Or your printer doesn't work. Um, let's say you have a $5,000 Xerox machine down the hall. That may not work with Windows 10. You've got to figure all these things out ahead of time with Windows 10. Now this is what a normal Windows 10 screen looks like. I mean, it brought back from Windows 8, it brought back the ball in the bottom left-hand left corner. It used to be called a pearl or a ball, but now you can click on it and bring your programs up. You hit all apps right here and it'll bring up your all your programs that are Windows 10 compatible in your computer. It has these weird tiles that nobody uses. And on the right hand side it's brought back the time and the date and what programs are running. Kind of the simple things that you're used to having in Windows. It brought that back with Windows 10. But with Windows 7, upgrading it will have multitudes of problems. And you're going to be inundated with pop-ups like this. This one says, uh, you know, we recommend upgrading. Would you rather upgrade now or upgrade later. Well, you've only got two choices, right? Upgrade now or upgrade later. So uh, if you don't want to do either one of those, you're going to have to push this X in the upper right-hand corner to close the window. Well, the problem is that window pops up, will pop up forever. And they change this from time to time. So now we've seen ones that say upgrade now or upgrade when you restart your computer. So it's almost like you don't have a choice. It's now or a little bit later. And either one of those is going to upgrade your computer to Windows 10. So again, you hit the X and you close the window. Problem is, we've also seen that some of these windows now no longer have a close button. So up in the upper right hand corner, there is no way to close it. It's upgrade now or upgrade when you restart your computer and you don't have a way to close this window. The only way to get around it is to do control alt delete if you're used to using that program. And then you have to find this window and shut just this one window and it will come up again later or you have to reboot your computer, in which case the window will go away, but it will come back later on and you gotta reboot your computer again. So we're gonna show you how to get rid of these pop-up messages and prevent Windows from upgrading your computer automatically. I sent you a link, and it's got a link to this program called GWX Control Panel Setup. GWX stands for Get Windows 10. You know, X is 10 in Greek or Latin, and GWX Control Panel. So you're going to download this program, and you're going to do the normal things when you install a program. Next, install, and then it says, would you like to run the control panel now? Right there. Okay, so here's the control panel that installed. You're going to push finish, and it's going to open up this program. Of course, you've got the terms and conditions, meaning we don't have any warranty that this is going to work at all, and we don't, don't hold us liable if we have any damages or any kind of liability, and don't sue us. Okay, so you've got to push I accept, and you get to this control panel window. Now this is running on a computer which has all the settings for Windows 10 but it hasn't downloaded it yet. But on your computer probably it will say all these things. Uh, is the Windows 10 icon running right now and is it turned on? It's going to run forever. See it says yes there. Are you, we allowed to do the Windows 10 upgrade? Are the non-critical Windows 10 settings enabled? See right now Windows 10 is not called a critical uh, program. Okay, So it doesn't install normally. But this is going to install it even if it's called recommended and installed by itself anyway. So you want to turn that off too. Over here, if, if Windows 10 had installed already onto the computer and just waiting to um, install it and upgrade the system, it would say yes right here and tell you how much space is being used by that. Most of them are about five gigs of data. Now that is a huge amount of data. It's an entire operating system downloaded off the internet. A lot of people nowadays are saying that the computers are working really slowly. That's because it is downloading Windows 10 in the background without your knowledge. It's on practically every computer that has not run this program already and it's just going to surprise you one day and install it. So most computers do have a folder uh, here. It'll say yes and most of them right here will say how big 
of the file it is that's in there. It's usually about five or six gigs of data. Okay. So what you're going to do, it's really simple, is just to click some of these buttons right here, and I'll show you which ones, and it will disable this. So the top one says, click to disable the Windows 10 app. The app are those programs that are popping up. So watch, as I click this, this is going to turn that off and turn that off. Okay, so now the pop-ups will not be coming up anymore. We're going to skip, well, normally you would delete the second one, the Windows 10 download folder. That's this folder over here that I talked about. So this computer that I'm on does not have anything in the Windows 10 download folder yet because it hasn't been triggered. But you're going to normally push that button right there, and then you're going to recoup all that space that's been downloaded by Windows 10, all that gigabytes that's going to be in that second line. So you're going to push the second one. Uh, skip the third one. We think we should, you should leave your Windows Update settings alone. The fourth one, click to disable the non-Windows, non-critical Windows 10 settings. You're going to click on that. That turns off it when it's a recommended setting and you think it's an urgent setting. Anyway, you're going to click that one too. Now the fifth one is a monitoring. So when you monitor it, they're going to put a program on here that tries to keep you informed if they try to push Windows 10 in another way. So for instance, this GWX control panel has been around about two months, but what happens is Windows is finding ways around it to install Windows 10 even if you've done all these things. So Microsoft and this control panel are fighting each other. So this one is going to put a monitor on your computer. It's going to be a small icon in the bottom right hand corner. It looks kind of like this 10 right over here. And it's going to keep track if Microsoft does something to change it and starts downloading Windows 10 again. Okay, so that's this fifth one. So, so far you've clicked one, two, four, and five. Now on the right hand side, you're going to click the button that says click to prevent Windows 10 upgrades. Okay, so it's turned off that. Click to delete the Windows 10 programs again. There are some other programs that could have been installed already, so you're going to push yes. Okay, now it's deleted those off of this computer. You can click this Windows Update Cache. That means if it's installed it in a temporary location, it's not going to create this Windows 10 folder again. Anyway, you're going to click that button too. Okay, you can push yes. Uh, yeah, are you sure you want to clear the what Windows Update Cache? You push yes. So basically, you've pushed one, two, four, five, one, two, three. Okay, and you could read this. This is the instructions, but you don't really need to read instructions. I mean, we don't need to do that. So anyway, one, two, four, five, one, two, three, and that should stop it according to this Windows 10 control panel. Okay, uh, when you do install this program, you know you can delete that per that installer, but it's going to put a Windows 10 control Windows get Windows 10 control panel icon on your desktop like that. And you could delete that if you want because it kind of confuses people. You know, if you have other people using your computer, like, wait, what is this? It says no. Maybe I should turn them all back on. So when they do that, you know, they've now turned Windows 10 back on again. So you want to dis you know, you want to make it so they don't play with this control panel. So I would just take this and delete it. Throw it in your recycle bin so nobody sees it, and you can recycle, get rid of that as well. Uh, that's all we have to do with the Windows 10. And if you have any questions or problems, go ahead and send me an email directly. Just reply to this email if necessary, scott at henke.com. Thanks. Have a great day.